Hi, I'm Johnny Frank and I work in the Business Development Department for Michigan Language Assessment. In this video, we're going to look at some tips for teachers for the METGO reading section. The METGO reading section has two task types and almost any uh, reading practice that you'll find in textbooks will, will help develop the relevant skills. In this video, we're going to look at three specific activities that you can do with your students. The first tip is uh, completing short sentences. So we're looking at reading at phrase level here. Now try to base this on areas that you've already studied and so it serves as a good fun revision activity. Students are given phrases or sentences which are missing either a vocabulary item or a piece of grammar. Um, you could use examples such as this. Make sure you do an example first with the class and check they understand the activity so everybody's on the same page. And then you could run through, again, using one of these quiz platforms, lots of music, it's lots of fun, um, and you can get them to do that individually um, so that you can then track the progress that each student is making and see where further um, work is needed. Also, as an extension to this activity and something that you can incorporate into your lesson planning is asking students to produce their own quizzes. So as, as a teacher you'd give them the word banks that you've studied, ask them to produce sentences. You would probably facilitate this with a shared online document or, or they could just send you it by email so you can check them. And then the students themselves become the quiz masters. So you could get them to produce a PowerPoint with the sentences um, or you could incorporate that into the quiz platform yourself and allow them to at least narrate and be the, the kind of uh, presenters with maybe some additional scaffolding language that they can use. Tip number two is a jigsaw reading and how we might use this activity online. So take a reading passage and break it up into two to four parts. Write comprehension questions for the whole text, so every part must have comprehension questions about it. Break students up into groups using breakout rooms, and each group will look at a different part of the reading passage. Now, be sure to show which questions relate to which parts of the text, so students are able to answer the questions that relate to their particular part of the text. Next, you're going to create new breakout rooms and this time you're going to mix up the groups so that every person in a breakout room has read a different part of the text and they're going to exchange questions and answers so they're able to have answers to the whole of the comprehension questions. Reconvene and review the answers. There are lots of ways of doing this so you could um, give them the text so that they can read the, read the text and decide for themselves if they agree with all the answers, or have the answers ready to, for, for them to review, ready on a digital whiteboard within your, your platform, your teaching platform, so they can check by themselves. You could even throw in a false answer to make sure students are really paying attention. Tip three is scrambling sentences. So. Choose a reading passage that is going to be interesting for your class, preferably with two or three paragraphs. Show them the title, and so as a class, or in pairs, and then as a class, or in groups, you start to predict and get their imagination going about what the text could be about. Now you've taken five sentences from this text, and you've put them in a, a scrambled order. So the first thing students are going to have to do is unscramble those five sentences. And you could give them an example of how this is done before you start this activity. There are lots of ways of doing this. You could get them to do it individually, as a class, in groups, and then feeding back to check answers. Once they've unscrambled the sentences, there are two things you can do. One, if it's a good class with a good level, you could give them the reading text with those sentences missing. So they've got the correct five sentences, and they need to put those sentences into the reading text. Also, what you could do is produce some comprehension questions for after that. So once they've got the text totally completed, then they're going to answer some questions about that text. 
or if you if you want to practice uh, creating questions then you can get them at that stage to create comprehension questions about the text to ask other students in the class. These are just some examples of activities you can do to help your students prepare for the METGO reading section. Please visit our website for even more resources to help you and your students prepare.